Know yourself. By Awad El Din Beliani. Sufi Persia, 13th century. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Praise belongs to God, before whose oneness there is no before, unless the before is he. And after whose singleness there is no after, unless the after is he. He is. There is not with him any before or after, above or below, closeness or distance how or where or when, time or moment or duration, manifested existence or place. And he is now, as he has always been. He is the one without oneness and the single without singleness. In this statement right here, he is the one without oneness means he is the one without a quality of oneness and the single without the quality of single meaning because a quality would be something separate from him so what Beliani is explaining here is that it is just one he is not composed of name and named for his name is him, and his named is him. And there is no name or named other than him. He is the first without firstness, and the last without lastness. God is the apparent without appearance, and the hidden without hiddenness. He is the very existence of the letters of the name the first and the last, the apparent and the hidden. There is no first or last, apparent or hidden, except him. Without the letters which form these divine names becoming him, and without him becoming these letters. Understand this so you don't make the mistake of those who believe in incarnation. And right here, this is another thing because when we speak amongst beings, we speak of incarnation, but there is no incarnation if all is him. And this is what Beliani is pointing to in this, that all is God. When we think of incarnation, we think God is coming into um, a body, incarnating. But this is never the case with one who sees God. Because God is everything. There is no coming into anything. God is not in anything. And no thing is in him. Whether entering into him or coming out of him. It is in this way that we should know him. And not through theoretical knowledge reason, understanding, or conjecture, nor with the senses, the external eye, or interior sight, or perception. No one sees him except himself. No one reaches him except himself. And no one knows him except himself. And when you um, are, as the Christian religion says, born again, or as the Hindu religion say, uh, self-realize, you will see that you were never the um, human being you thought you were. You were always him. And this is what Beliani is stating here. No one sees him except himself. So when you see that you were always him, you are seeing yourself. No human being can know him. He only knows himself. And this is the, the this will this statement will become clear when you become self-realized. He knows himself through himself and sees himself 
by himself, by means of himself. No one but he sees him. His veil is his oneness, since nothing veils him other than himself. His own being veils him. And this is often conveyed as the mind or the ego being the veil of him. Meaning you think you're a individual self with your own will is what veils you from the will that was already operating, which is his will. His being is concealed by his oneness without any condition. No one other than he sees him. No sent prophet, perfect saint, or angel brought close knows him. His prophet is he, his messengers he, his message is he, and his word is he. He sent himself from himself, through himself, to himself. There is no intermediary or means other than him. There is no difference between the sender, that which is sent, and the one whom it is sent. The very existence of the prophetic message is his existence. And that's another great saying. <clears throat> there is no difference between the sender, that which is sent, and the one whom it is sent to. And it's the same as saying there is no difference from the seer, the seeing, and that which is seen. For instance, there's no difference from the one who sees and the eye seeing and the tree being seen. There is no difference. It is all God. There is no existence to any other who could pass away or have a name or be named. Because of this, the prophet, God bless him and give him peace, said, Whoever knows their self knows the Lord. He also said, I knew my Lord through my Lord. What the prophet pointed out by that is that you are not you, but you are him, and there is no you. It is not that he enters into you, or that you enter into him, or that he comes out of you, or that you come out of him. It does not mean that you have being and you are qualified by this or that attribute. What is meant is that you never were and never will be, whether through yourself or through him or in him or with him. You have never ceased to be, nor are you existing. You are him and he is you, without any of those imperfections or these imperfections. If you know your existence in this way, then you know God. And if not, then not. Most of those who claim to know God make the knowledge of God dependent on the passing away of existence and on the passing away of that passing away. That is clearly an error and misconception. This knowledge of God does not require the passing away of existence or the passing away of that passing away, because things have no existence. And what does not exist cannot pass away. Passing away implies the prior existence of something that passes away. If you know yourself without existing and passing away, then you know God, and if not, then not. That's an interesting paragraph because even in the things that appear to pass away, God is always there. So there is no need to know God by things passing away. He is ever present. And that which is ever present is you. You are not the things that pass away. <clears throat> 